using the Mongo shell allows us to execute Mongo-specific commands to interact with MongoDB and any database we've created in there. On a Windows machine where Mongo is currently running, we can access the shell from a command prompt with administrative privileges by using the Mongo command. On a Linux machine, we'd run the same command preceded by sudo to make sure we have the necessary administrative rights. From within the Mongo shell, we can see any existing databases by using the show DBS command. And here you can see we have two databases, both empty, admin and local. And if need be, I can switch into any one of those specific databases by using the use command. For instance, if I wanted to switch to my local database, I could say use local. And as you can see, I get a bit of output confirming that that is now the case. But if we consider the very common scenario that we don't want to use any of the default provided databases, we want to use our own database, how might we go about that? Again, it's actually going to be the same command here, use, followed by the name of the database you want to create. If that database does not already exist, Mongo is going to create it and then switch to it. So for instance here, to create a new database test, I'm going to say use test. You can see I've switched to DB test, and even though test did not exist before, it's been created for me just by the use of this command. Now, one thing to make note of is that after creating this database, we may think we can use the show DBS commands again to see all of our existing databases, and we might expect to see our new database here, but we're not, and that's because by default, the shell is not going to show us any databases that do not yet have any documents in them. At this point, this includes our test database, which is brand new. From the shell, there's a lot we can do. We can actually see a list of available commands by using the help command. And as you can see, we're going to get a list of higher level Mongo commands we can run, as well as database specific commands we can run on particular databases. For example, to see how many users we have in the current database, we can use this command here, show users. Typing that in, you'll notice we actually get back no output, and that's because right now, our new database test doesn't actually have any users. If we wanted to go ahead and create a new user for our database, we could use the command db.createUser. It's actually a function that accepts a JSON object defining the user we want to create. As you can see, we're going to pass in a username associated with the user key. We're going to pass in a password associated with the PWD key, and we can pass in an array of roles associated with the roles key. If all goes well, executing that command is going to let us know that our user has successfully been added. And at this point, show users should now return some output, including our brand new user, Andrew. Obviously, there's a lot more we can do from the Mongo shell, but for now, we know how to create new databases and then assign users to those databases, which is a pretty good start.